Oh hey, happy 4th of July. I'm Will. And you're cooking with Will Evans. Hey, welcome back. And you're cooking with Will Evans. And in today's segment is 4th of July. You know what we do in America on 4th of July? Besides look at boobies, we cook steaks. Ribeye steaks. Grass fed. USD fucking prime ribeye steaks. A little bit of marbling, not so much fat, but just enough to get that stupendous flavor. And alongside with that, we have the aid of olive oil, pink Himalayan salt, black cracked pepper, herbed butter, garlic cloves, onions, and last but not least, thyme. This shit sets it off. And you need the right cooking utensils. And this right here, my friends, is the cast iron skillet. Seasoned, of course. We've cooked about 35 ribeyes on this. So it has that flavor to stick right here. Ready? So when you have your ribeye, place it on a clean, flat surface. And make sure that your ribeye is at room temperature. That way you're not handling anything cold and, or anything frozen. And that means your meat's going to cook all the way uh, thoroughly through. Secondly, you're going to have to rub it down with olive oil. You're going to want to do it on both sides to coat it so it takes in all the flavor with the salt and pepper that you're going to crack on top of it. Second step, you're going to crack the pink Himalayan salt over it. Do it from a maybe like seven to eight inch distance on top of it, just so you can have the salt distributed fairly. And you're gonna wanna do this on both sides. Along with the salt, you're gonna do the cracked pepper, again, on both sides. And like I said, have a fair distance above it so the salt gets distributed very well. Third step, you're gonna wanna heat your cast iron skillet. And for this reason, you're gonna have to go up to high because you need to sear these suckers. 30 seconds on each side. And we'll get back to that. On the fourth point, you're gonna wanna have this all the way at 500% degrees, that is, in your oven, because that's the other part. All right, step four, cooking the steak. Make sure your skillet is on high heat. This is for the purpose of searing the steak on both sides, 30 seconds each side. Five. The reason why we're searing this is so you can lock in all the juices. Someone like a container. Get on, get all sides of the steak as possible. And now it's time for the oven. But first, we're gonna add the butter on top. Keep it in the medium, medium part portion. Keep it in the medium portion of the oven just so it can bake evenly up from the top and bottom. You're going to leave it in here two minutes per side. Try to baste it with the butter just so you can get an even flavor. Add onions. Add 
add garlic. This will get the aroma going. Looks done. We're gonna do one more flip. You get an even cooked ribeye steak. Just gonna wait for the onions to get a little bit more caramelized while we're at it. And we should be done, guys. Now we're gonna take it out the oven. Chopping board. Grab some of this garlic. Now we're going to let it rest for five minutes. But first, we're going to add some thyme on it. I'm gonna get the thyme as fresh as possible. The thyme I have is probably three days old, so it's, it's lost its luster, but it'll do. And now I'm going to remove the thyme. And with that being said, I'm gonna cut right into it. I'm gonna kinda of cut with the grain. This cut right here is, a, is at medium. A little bit of pink, but not so much. See all the juices? They stuck within. That's how you cook an American ribeye. Thank you for cooking with Will Evans.